Hi guys, obviously it's the first episode back on Jab Magno Vlogs and I have Tony today. So this episode is going to be about breastfeeding. I know I announced a couple of weeks ago ooh, that uh, I've already stopped breast pumping for Tony. Did mama stop breast pumping for you? Bubby. Hui. <laughs> yes, I've actually stopped breast pumping after nine months of doing it for Tony. Yes. And as I, uh, as I explain... <laughs> As I explain the rest of this episode, I'm just gonna say, say to Tony, say bye. Ah. You can't be in my whole episode, bub. <laughs> okay, sorry. Tony has to be in one of my videos every season. I guess it's sort of like a promise. So today's episode is gonna be about breast pumping. Well, breastfeeding and breast pumping, yeah, sort of the same how you feed your kids. But what I want to stress out in this whole situation is that first, and for most, what I learned through my breastfeeding journey is that you shouldn't really stress or sweat the small stuff because if you keep on focusing on what you can, cannot do, you focus on all what the mommy groups say, how they judge you and all these things, you will not enjoy the whole process. And of course, being a new mom or being a mom again for the second, third, fourth time and trying to breastfeed is already stressful as it is. On top of the fact, if you are either normal birth or CS birth, it still is a lot to take in, especially if you know, you're know you also working or you're just on leave and will eventually go back to work. So, in my case, when I started breast pumping, I would pump at least two, three, four, five, six drops, literally. And I would be frustrated because at that time, when I did my whole breastfeeding while I was in the hospital and Tony was in the NICU, they pressured me to produce milk. And so I am so grateful for all of the moms that donated, and this is true, 50 liters of breast milk was actually donated to Tony in the duration of his 10 days in the NICU. That's, that's a whole lot of breast milk that arrived from all over the Philippines. I kid you not. Somebody sent milk from Manila and Cebu, some within Davao, some from Butuan City and all the other places that, that's near Davao. So I'm very, very grateful. And of course, in the course of the nine months that I did my whole journey, I, I donated exact the exact same amount. Actually, I added a little bit more. I, I donated about 55 liters of breast milk. So how did I do that? First of all, I reached to a point that I would uh, pump about one and a half to two liters a day. Yes, this would be, this was, this happened about four or five months into my journey. One of the things that I'm so grateful for is the supplements that I use. So number one, I use Mega Malungay and Yakult. I know that not a lot of you know this, but yeah, Yakult helped and Mother Nurture coffee and chocolate milk drinks. So you can get it online. And of course, the Lacto Treats of Lacto Mom. As for the pump, um, if you latch, your baby so it's good you're fine but if you also want to store your milk if you go back to work or if you just decide on mixed feeding your kid it's fine yes i know some moms are going to raise their eyebrows and and think i'm crazy for suggesting mixed feeding well we can't really force women especially when you're like me i'm a single mom i do things on my own and i really didn't want to feel pressured and one of the best advice i ever got from a, a fellow mom was Eat whatever you want, that was the first thing. And the second thing was, do whatever makes you happy. And that's the same type of advice that I give to the other moms that ask, that come to me for advice. Well, speaking of um, diets, if you have a very strict diet prescribed by your pediatrician, follow it because that's exactly what I did when Tony was actually lactose intolerant. So there was a long list of things that I wasn't allowed to, to eat, drink, and whatnot. And I followed that religiously for nine months. And I didn't drink, no smoking, of course, all those other things that are, that are already known. Aside from that, um, it also has to do with the pumps. I'm a pure Medela mom. So I started off with a Swing Maxi. So this is the Swing Maxi. This is actually, um, this goes into the circuit and it, it does come battery operated as well, but this is so tedious to use. So I switched, I switched to the lifestyle, uh, the Medela lifestyle. 
um, you, you can get this at any store that sells Medela. And um, this one, you can actually you can actually charge and it pretty much can go wireless, so which is also good. When you are also a Medela user, you would know that uh, the, what I call it is the nipple things. The things that you put into your nipple, it comes in different sizes and it's so important to know that you should switch if it's too small or if it's too big. So it's, it's really important. I also get to use the Medela Bando. Oops! <laughs> the freestyle Bando because it's just easier. I sell my Beauty Derm products and I pump at the same time or I watch TV or I do something else. And it's pretty much made my entire journey easy. Okay, next for the pump, I also use I used at one point. I didn't use it all the time through the nine months, but I also got to use the Hacka pump. I know my Hacka pump isn't exactly the prettiest because I've used it, but this actually collects let down milk. And um, if you get a Hacka pump, if you let your child on your right boob or your left boob, so the other the other boob can you can use the Hacka pump to collect let down milk. Okay. As for storing your milk, your breast milk, it's very important to note that you should really get proper storage bags. I actually recommend Dula. Um, I've used Dula. This comes in two sizes, but I like the size more because this is smaller. And since I store my milk in like 100 to 120 at that time, so I use this and a um, ditch. What, what do you call this? This is a non-erasable marker but it's just for the clothes so I used to label it I don't really use the normal pencil pen so important thing to remember please know how to properly store your breast milk there are so many ways to store your breast milk properly you can find it on the internet you can research on how to properly thaw and properly store your milk I do suggest yes proper storage bags label it properly label it with a date it, it comes here so it has the date on it how much you've pumped and um, yeah first one in first one out that's that's how it is when it comes to um, pump or storing your milk the whole thing and and the whole process has been beautiful but one of the things that I also learned is that milk just stops coming and um, I don't want to pressure myself and I, do, I also advocate for not pressuring women whether you want to breastfeed your son or daughter whether you don't want to do it or whether you can't do it it does not make you less of a mother I have mixed feed I have mixed mixed fed my son I've mixed fed my son for about nine months and um, and I know some moms didn't like it I know they discouraged me to do it but it's what made it so enjoyable. I've seen my milk, I mean, I've seen my milk help so many babies. And that's one of the things that I also want to do this because I want to teach women. I want to remind women that do whatever is most comfortable for you and your lifestyle and your schedule, okay? And um, if you have any more questions, well, I hope it's not a lot after this video. But if you do have any more questions, please stay tuned on the rest Oh, well, you could just message me directly or you can make your own videos and see and share and see if the community responds to it well. This has been Jam Magno. I'll see you all next week. And I promise um, it's going to be back to Beauty Drum products. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you next week.